listener. I'm a good listener too, but she just <laughs> yes, I know. Yes. Good morning. Hi. Oh, hello, everybody. Hi, Hanfex. I hope today is a better day than yesterday. And again, I hope every day is a little better. And hi, Mrs. Gigi and Melody. Loves her hobby. So lovely to see you on this Sunday morning. I hope uh, the weather is not too hot, not too cold. I hope it's a gold, a Goldilocks day. There you go. Day. Good morning, uh -huh. Becky and Mrs. Gigi and Melody and anybody who's in the background in the balcony. Yes. And Becky, if you're up to it, I'm, I'm glad to invite you over. If you want to just chill, that's fine, too. Doing much better. Oh, that's good news. Excellent. Wonderful. So I'm going to have a, I'm going to read as I normally do on Sunday morning uh, from, it was on fire when I lay down on it by Robert Fulgrim. And um, it's a, a short one today. Good morning, Teresa. Late, lady, I know runs an upscale downtown toy store. Says her live wire customers are mostly well-dressed middle-aged men who come in during the middle of the morning when their employees are back at the office working. In toy store jargon, these men are called loose wallets. Only the best toys will do and they never leave the store empty handed. She says she can spot them coming down the street. They wear an eager, simple-minded look and walk with pleasant purpose, clearly coming to do something they enjoy. And they don't wait around for Christmas either. They come any time of the year. Who are these big spenders? Grandfathers. First-time grandfathers as often as not. The answer to a toy salesman's prayer. And I am one, which means I have been spending a great deal of time in toy stores recently, shopping for dolls for my granddaughter. Fear not, I won't tell you all about my granddaughter, because if you are not yet a grandparent, you really don't want to hear about this. And if you are already one, then all you want to do is tell me about your grandchild, who is naturally a more amazing kid than mine. And I don't want to hear about that. This is the basic downside of grandparenthood. You want to talk about it a great deal. Nobody really wants to listen much to this illustrated lecture of yours. Want to see some pictures? To continue, dolls have changed since last I shopped for 125 years ago. For one thing, most are anatomically correct. And the salesperson is always eager to demonstrate this by holding up a dress or pulling down pants and explaining, look, the real thing. This is the hardest part of doll shopping. In theory, I'm in all favor, in all in favor for this development, but I don't know which is more embarrassing, enduring the demonstration or asking not to be shown. I'll take their word for it. Perhaps the threat of the mandatory demo explains why grandfathers tend to shop for dolls in the middle of the morning when nobody else is in the toy store. Toy manufacturers manufacturers have progressed well beyond realistic baby parts. That's not much, there's not much limit to what a doll can do. Baby Tickle laughs when rubbed under her arms. Whoopsie makes a shrieking sound and her hair flies up when her tummy is pressed. Baby Wet and Care breaks out in a diaper rash. What's more, she comes not only with the lotion that clears up the rash, but with a lotion that gives her the rash in the first place. Then there is newborn baby who comes just as it is released from the hospital, which means it's life size, wrinkly and soft and kind of ugly, equipped with a hospital ID tag on its wrist, a pacifier, and get this, a navel bandage where the umbilical cord was cut. It eats, drinks, whimpers, and messes its diapers. It's anatomically correct, of course, and spits up if you sneeze, if you squeeze it. Comes in male, female, black, and white. No yellow or red. Why not? This trend towards realism in dolls deserves applause. It suggests a remedy for the population problem. Why not get a very real about dolls? How about baby sick who eats and throws up unexpectedly at the same time it develops diarrhea and cries all night? 
or baby disease who period, periodically gets covered with scaliest red spots and coughs for three days and nights, or baby difficult who shouts, no, 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 instead of saying mama, or even baby embarrassing. You wind it up and it plays with its anatomically correct self while you were trying to change its diapers. The ultimate baby doll would all would have all of these characteristics and actions, and whole generations of little girls and boys might grow up thinking very carefully about having real babies. They would know what they were getting into. Thus, the doll manufacturers of America might become a powerful force in the service of population control. Don't hold your breath while waiting for this development. The toy store lady admits that the closer to being lifelike it is, the less likely a doll is to sell. The newborn baby doll I mentioned doesn't get any buyers even on sale at half price. Even first-time grandfathers won't take it, especially not first-time grandfathers. No, these guys buy exactly what you would expect, unblemished, unreal little beauties with fluffy dresses and ballerina features, the ones that are cute and sweet and soft without any anatomical details either, thank you. Perfect is what they want, just like their granddaughters. So there you go. <laughs> uh, they actually, at my, the school that I taught a couple many years ago, someone came up with a brilliant idea that they would buy these real life babies and they would give them to seniors and they had to carry them around. They had, they had to carry them into class and they had to carry them into chapel. And if they started crying in the middle of the class, the kid had to get up and take them out of class. And, and they thought that basically they would, you know, open the kid's eyes to what it's like being a parent. And you had to take him, they went home with you, you slept with them at night, you fed them in the middle of the night. And it actually turned out to be quite the disaster, as you can imagine. Um, and then some schools, they couldn't afford to buy the baby. So the kids had to care for a five pound bag of flour. <laughs> so uh, they have done that. I actually worked at Macy's one Christmas in the toy department. And that was the year they came out with the first anatomically correct male doll. And they, we had to keep it in the back and people had to ask to see it. And it was pretty embarrassing. I kind of remember this. So. Well, good morning, everybody. Lena, good morning. And Carol. Oh, Carol. So it's my Carol. Oh, she's getting tea. All right. Uh, let's see. My thing is dinging. Let me let me mute my phone. I get dings every time someone oh messages. Let's see. Oh, okay. Sorry, folks. Let me just how do you I'll just turn it off, right? There. Okay. So if you read my little thingy. Good morning, Stacy May. Lovely to see you. We're almost, we're almost done with this book. There's only a few in here. Um, there's one in here that I, I'm not going to read because he basically says, uh, if you own a dog or if you like dogs, whatever you do, don't read this one. So I know most of us, many of us have dogs and animals, so I, I will skip that one. If you read my little, pro, my intro, uh, I found a home for my Timmy people. And it's basically an ephemeral storage system. And I know many of you are very familiar with ephemeral storage systems. And uh, this one appealed to me because the way it's laid out, you can, you can see everything when you make the little book. Now, I made a little prototype, but I'm going to make a... Excuse me, I'm going to make a, a bigger one. Um, but this was, I just made this. This is a cheesy cracker box cover, you know. And then you cut paper in half. I use cardstock. And then you put them together. And then you have all these slots. So all your ephemera will stick in here and here. And, you know, so I could have maybe all my little flowers or cutouts here. Good morning, Safia. Thank you for being here. And you do this, and then you go, and you've got these pages, and I would have these pockets, and then you'd get to the end, and you'd go, okay, that's nice. But then you close it, and then on you open it, you can open it on the other side, and say on this side, I would have all my Timmy people, right? And they would all be laid out. And say so you wanted to see them all at once, so you could literally open it up like so, and then you could see like all your Timmy people, 
in one glance or you can see all your flowers at one glance. And so that's what we're going to be making today. It's not very difficult. You need, obviously, I'm using, um, and the woman that I, I learned this from, I will put her link in, in the description at the end of the, at the end of the stream. It's a woman that I'm not familiar with. Maybe some of you are. Her, her name, her channel's name is La Cafe Craft, and she's French. Good morning, Jean Moran. So lovely to see you. And she has, she is an absolute stitch. She is funny um, and irreverent. She kind of reminds me of a French Janet Young. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> she kind of has that snarky attitude. And uh, so I learned how to do this from watching her. And her video doing this is two years old. A lot of the stuff is older. Um, so, oh, that don't worry about it, Mika. That don't worry about it. So she took a textbook and I was going through my stuff and I have a Chinese textbook uh, where I used to teach. They taught Chinese. And I was telling Carol before, the, before we started that if you have a school anywhere, you know, that you are familiar with or close to you in your area, at the end of the school year, you know, go into the office and say, hey, you know, I'm a mixed media artist. I'm a crafter. Are you throwing out any textbooks or getting rid of any books? And they throw out so many books at the end of the school year, so many textbooks. The students toss, you know, notebooks that haven't been used. I mean, it's amazing the amount of stuff that is thrown out at the end of the school year. So, I mean, I was working there this year and I went and I said, you're throwing out or getting rid of any textbooks. And I got rid of, I, I picked up this Chinese uh, textbook, which I'm going to take apart. I've already cut off the top. So this is going to be one part of my ephemera book. And I'm just going to see, this was Madison Kinney's. Madison. Oh, oh, I had, okay, I knew those kids. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm not even, I'm just going to cut it right here with my, handy dandy utility knife. All right. So there, I've got my <laughs> little student graffiti here. Oh, can you see that? <laughs> I don't know what it is. It must be uh, Chinese. So Carol, tell us what you're using. Um. Naturally, I have some of my own paintings, and this one's already been coated and sealed, so it's on 140-pound um, watercolor paper, so I'm going to use that. I've cut it in half to make my size book. Well, that'll be perfect. Yeah, I was thinking of all the things you could use. I was thinking you could take a magazine and, you know, tear off, you know, take, a you know, the front cover and a couple of other pages and glue those together and then take a couple of pages and glue those together to make your front and back and then you could just separate the magazine pages and use those also so I'm using for this because she did this and I happen to have some of these she used the these type of folders and she cut those down so I'm going to cut these down and they should be just a little bit smaller than the whatever you're going to use, whatever you choose to use as your uh, book. But the nice thing about these, if you really got into it, you could make a whole bunch of them. And when they're done, they're not that thick. And you could literally put them on a bookshelf or whatever. And you could just open them up and have a quick glance of what you've got. Um my Timmy bag, my Timmy people are, you know, in a in a baggie, and they are, uh, they're all shoved into a baggie, and you can't really see who they, you know, what they are or who they are. They just know it's a bunch of people, you know, crammed into a baggie. And my my flowers, my Timmy ephemera and flowers are in the bottom of a uh, box. I don't know about you, but, you know, 
I have a lot of this stuff and I never use it. I never use it. Hi, Mitzi. I don't think it says hi to you and Gail. Hi, Gail. I didn't say hi to you either. So this is doesn't. It's very easy to do as La Cafe Craft will tell you. She uh, talks about how easy this is to do. And of course, you can you can decorate these any way you want. Um, cut that there. I just used a regular file folder. The hanging one. I'm sorry? I just used a regular file folder instead of the hanging one. Oh, yeah. Yep. I could, yeah. I just had these hanging around in there. They're probably about, well, I'm, they're vintage. I'm sure they're vintage. Okay. So now I got to cut it this way. Hi. I said hi to Sophia. And, uh, so let's measure it this way. And she's funny when she's doing this. And there's no measuring, no measuring, no measuring. Um, I don't know why people have such an aversion to measuring, but apparently they do. I mean, I do a lot of eyeballing, and I'm sure you guys do a lot of eyeballing, but a little measure I here and there. Did. I said, oh, mine needs to be just a little bit shorter, so I just moved it over and cut it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a little, you know, a little mark here. You're a sniffing mark. too. <laughs> a little mark here, a little I mark. I apologize if I do sniff or I mute a lot because it's one of those mornings. It's raining, it's musty. So, you know, even if the sun is shining, I've got my allergies from the dust, and now I've got the rain and the musty smell. <laughs> Carol so, lives in a world of snot. Yes, literally. <laughs> Poor thing. I just, uh, I know so many of you have allergies, and I just am very fortunate that I, that I don't. Okay, so there we go. That's one, and this is going to go a lot faster since I know exactly what I'm doing. Because having a sharp blade is very important, folks. There's no, there's no reason to struggle with your cutting. If you have a, a blade, and Lily is lurking. My cat is lurking, which makes me very nervous. She's gotten very bold about jumping up onto this craft table. Uh, and it's, you know, Lily, this is, you know, she gets fed at 11 o'clock, 11-ish. Well, that's not coming out. Well, that's okay. I can just cut it off. Okay, Stacy May. <laughs> Teresa, uh, uh, maybe? <laughs> she says, does that mean I'm being a snot-nosed brat today? <laughs> well, not today. Oh, just every day? Yeah. Well, I didn't say that. You did. <laughs> I would never say that about you, dear. Good yeah. morning, Marty. Good morning. So we're having rain all day today. Huh? <laughs> we're having rain all day today. We don't get rain all, we don't get all day rain. We get furious hurricane type rain for about 20 minutes to a half an hour. And then the sun comes out. I think I'd rather have a nice gentle rain all day. Well, that's what it's been doing. I mean, yesterday afternoon I was playing WoW. 
World of Warcraft with my son and wicked thunderstorm came up. I mean, you know, we have that lightning right overhead <laughs> and uh, he could hear it. He's going, wow. And I said, yeah, wow, it's right. <laughs> and it was really ripping. And, and my cat's terrified of thunderstorms, unfortunately. Oh, you were a snot-nosed brat yesterday. So <laughs> stayed in bed all day. Oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Teresa. Oh, it's not fun. Uh, Becky, I understand totally on what you're going through. I, I do, I do. <laughs> you're a, you're a, a, a COVID survivor. Yes, it, it was it was bad. I had it really bad. I'm in southern Ontario, Gail. I'm glad you're feeling a little better, Becky. That's that's the important thing. That every day is better. I was I was grateful when I had COVID that I had my inhalers as well as the other things that I was taking, and yeah, it helped tremendously. <laughs> Because otherwise, it's just basically, you know, what inhaler is like, what the hospital told me is, take this inhaler if you're having emergency issues, because it's the same thing as coming into the hospital and us putting you on oxygen. Oh, wow. Because that's what's happened to me quite a few times I ended up on oxygen. It's, yeah. So, you know, COVID's, COVID's nothing to laugh at, whether you have a mild case or a hard case, because it seems like no matter what, you know, there's always issues. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to put all your Timmy's people in there. Yes, and flowers. I've got some flower ephemera. Oh. And, um, you know, the little flower packs. And so that's the plans. That is my plan. Um, and I think I'm not going to do it. I'm only going to do, I don't want to bore everybody. So I'm only going to do two sheets. So that's, I guess that's all I brought out. Duh. Gail, oh. <laughs> true. Yes. But that's what they told me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, the Same. last time I was sick, I mean, I'm not sick very often, thank God, but I'd gotten, I'd gotten something. This is long before COVID. And my doctor, you know, she immediately got me a, what they call a, I think they call it a Z pack. Yep. Is yeah. that was, yeah. yeah. And she prescribed an inhaler. And, uh, and I don't have lung issues, but that was just, she said, well, this is what, you know. And that helped. Yes, it does. I was so sick. I missed. Uh, I missed graduation that year at school, and it was my last. That was my last year there, and I missed it. I couldn't. I couldn't uh, manage to walk down the aisle, so to speak. All right. So the next thing you're going to do. Is we're going to tape these together, and Carol and I had a discussion. Uh, if you don't leave enough space between them, then you're they're not going to lay flat when you open them in the book. Uh, I think I'll do this size. It's probably straighter. And I'm using a uh, packing tape, and that's what she used because it's sturdy and it's wide. So here we go. Go over maybe a little bit. <clears throat> kind of go halfway. This is always the tricky part for me. Okay. Whoops. Okay, flip it over. Bring in the next sheet.
and I'm going to give it, we figured about maybe an eighth of an inch or so. And then give it a, leave it a space. And then I'm going to fold this over like so. And this over like so. And then I'm going to put another piece of scotch tape, packing tape across this part. And go like so and cover that up. See where I am? Yeah. Flip it over. And flip it over. Okay. There we go. There's one. And fold it. Nice and sturdy ish. Like so. Like so. Whoops. And of course, when you start to decorate these, you can use your washi tape to decorate because you know you have to add glue to washi because washi is not really meant to stick stuff together. It's decremental, not decremental, decor decorative. Yes, decorative. Thank you. All right. So, so we're going to do this again. So is anybody starting to experience fall-like weather? Starting to cool down a little bit? So I can be jealous? Oh, you are? Oh, that's great. That's super, Becky. So it's getting cooler. Oh, that's oh just a wee bit cooler. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. I love the fall. Not so much what follows the fall, but the fall is nice. See, in a little time, it's in the 90s. Yeah, we're, that's where we are. We're in the 90s in, day, in the day. Yeah. But I've noticed that it's it's dropping down into the high 70s, not the 80s at night. Yeah, that's about where we are. I'm in Florida, so I don't think we'll see oh, cooler weather until probably the beginning of November. Uh, that's typically when it starts to cool down. I just can't wait to open the windows, you know. But that's just like, you know, up north, same thing, you know. You have to go through winter with everything shut up, and then in this, you know, you can open up the house, but it's the opposite. My son and grandsons are coming in October. And typically, it's a good month to be here. I think I'll cut that. Not enough to fold over, so let me just cut that off. We're going to, we're not doing Disney this year. We're doing Legoland and um, Universal. I don't think I've been to Universal. And we're not staying. We're we're just driving up and coming back. We're doing uh, day day trips. So now I've got three. And are we putting tape on both sides? Yes. I already screwed this up somehow. Let me get out my. Oops! Come on. Come on. Oh boy. I got a got a problem here, you can. Well, don't do what I did. <laughs> uh, not, it's a little crooked. And I can't because of the tape, I can't fix it. So just beware folks when you line it up be more careful than I am 
you won't be talking. And I, you know, it's like chewing gum and walking at the same time. Well, when I'm crafting, it's kind of, I feel like sometimes. Yeah, it's kind of an accordion, Teresa. Yeah, it is. It, it, it really is. But it ends up being, you know, an accordion that opens at both sides. So basically, you're going to have stuff on one side of the paper and then on the other side of the paper. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm, uh, it's, it'll be fine. It's all good. Good morning, Dixie Doodle and everybody. And now I have to mute because I have to blow my nose. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, How do I mute? Where do I uh, mute? Click on the microphone. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's one of them days, everybody's. And make sure you uh, thoroughly press down your edges so they fold better for you. And it and it compresses the uh, the tape as well. Yeah, mine didn't come out perfect, perfect either, but. Yeah, mine didn't either, but. But it'll be okay. I mean, a little, a little brutal force, even though that didn't work. It's a, <laughs> well, this packing tape I'm using is pretty, pretty thick. Mine's Scott packing tape. That's what mine is, too. It's pretty heavy-duty stuff. Moco, you were out playing in the rain. Aw, singing in the rain, was he? Yeah, she was wet. She was out in the rain. Ah, the smell of wet dog fur. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I had the doors open because I don't, you know, it's airflow. <laughs> yeah, wow. So she was going out and she's on the deck playing in the rain. Yeah, Gail, me too. I'm I'm environmentally allergic. It's chronic. So it's pretty much everything and like perfumes and stuff like that is is tough on me. I can only take certain things, you know, even like deodorants, some of the deodorants are, oh my God, they just give me instant headache. I can't walk through candles, nothing. <laughs> it's, it's pretty brutal. I would think, yeah. I, I, I avoid smelly aisles at all costs. <laughs> oh, I guess yeah, you're not going to go down the perfume aisle, that's for sure. <laughs> I would imagine that would be a a horrible thing. Yeah, it's hard, Gail. It really is. That's that's why Rusty Cat found a new home because I was allergic to him too, and it was it was pretty pretty rough. But he's a happy cat now. It was a good thing he was out in the garage. I can't imagine if he. Yeah, Gail, we're in the same boat. <laughs> Has Gail got allergies like you too? Yeah. <laughs> Ash, that's awful. Luna, go lay down. No hippie hopping. Luna's the lunatic, just saying. Yeah, Luna's on the ends of her heat, so she's like hippie hoppy. <laughs> No, go sit. Don't make me mute. <laughs> I was watching Dr. Poe. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a cable show. He's a veterinarian. He's got a vet pack practice. And he is, it's a great show. I mean, I, I will. He does large and small animals, so they're out on farms and drawing calves and piglets and everything under the sun. He's like the, the American version of James Harriet, all creatures great and small, you know? Yeah, Gail, you are in the same climate area. Oh, Northwest Indiana, yeah, I guess, huh? 
has a mind of its own. Stay. <laughs> Stay. All right, this is the last one, folks. So thank you for hanging in there. And, you know, the other thing, I mean, obviously you could store anything that you want to be able to see at a glance. Um, Timmy people come to mind. Most of us have Timmy people. And again, I told you my Timmy people are in a baggie. And uh, again, I have them, but I never think to use them. So they are ignored. So now I will just open my little ephemera book. And go, oh, I'll take him or I'll take the twins. I'm by, by mistake, I bought the chipboard people, which, oh. yeah, they're too thick. And, uh, oh no, I lost my. No, no, no. I, I don't own any um, Timmy ephemera stuff except what was ever given to me. I have no Timmy people. <laughs> That's good. I mean, I like the Timmy people. I I have stuff that I've cut out, um, you know, fussy cutting and things that I've gotten sent in there. So yes, yes, yes. It would be perfect for, for in here, you know, all the small uh -huh. things and stamps or things that you stamp out yourself and fussy cut that you can put in. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be all purchased things. No, it can be your own handmade, homemade ephemera, even little tags. Maybe you've made a whole bunch of little tags and they're in a pile and they're wrapped together, you know, in a, with, with a rubber band and you don't, you can't really see them all at a glance. That's another good idea. Yeah. All right, so let me open this. And I'm going to fold it like an accord. <laughs> That's true. They are someone's relatives. <laughs> That's All true. I never thought about that. Yeah. Well, I made those. Remember, I'm a while back, a back, a while back. That's how I'm talking today. A while back. I made some little tea bag things with pictures of people, and I use my own relatives, uh, black and white photos of my own relatives. Okay, so this would be this page. Yeah, this is this page. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah, it is that page. <laughs> page. Well, there you go. And this page. Now, I might... I'll probably, maybe I'll decorate this. Maybe I won't, but it's kind of an interesting thing. But, you know, possibilities are endless. So you're going to glue this page onto this, like so. I and, don't think I'm going to glue. I'm going to use double-sided tape. <laughs> well, whatever you've got. And then just to make sure, you're going to fold it up like so. And then this... It's going to go on the back cover like so. And so when you're done, you have a little book. But guess what? No spine. You didn't have to deal with making a spine. There's no spine anywhere. And then that'll open from this side. So I'm going to flip it back over like so. And go like so. Like so. So and so. <laughs> and now I see where I, uh, I think I now I know what you were talking about. I didn't understand, but you see what the problem is? Yeah, that's what this one got, got too close. The problem is this. Well, I can always cut a piece. I'll cut a piece off of that. I can cut a piece off of that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you can put this on any way you want. Double-sided tape. 
Carol's using double-sided tape. I'm with her. I'll use double-sided tape, too. We're all in this together, right? Yeah, I right. think it'd be easier. <laughs> Less mess. Okay. And I think I'm going to have to recut this one. Yeah, I know I'm going to have to cut a little of this. I'm going to use uh, carpet tape. Oh, that's a good idea. That is serious double-sided tape. Yes, it is. And it's thick, too. Yeah. And I have to it somewhere. Oh. I think it's in a box now. Okay. All right. I'm going to stick that here. That's not going anywhere, folks. The only problem when you cut this stuff, it gums everything up. Ugh. It's a gummy, gummy. Hi, Crafting with Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Thank you for being here this morning. Whoa, come on. I'm trying to cut through this. Oh, Gail, it's good you tried. You know, it's it's just for fun. It's not like, you know, you have to to do, but all oh, the raised cup stitch, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I'm gonna do it again. Really? And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use more more uh floss. Because the piece oh, man, what a mess you made here, Ian. Oh my lord. Um the uh, ah could say some very bad words, but I will just mumble them to myself. <laughs> um, I only when I did the raised cup thing, I was only I only had two strands of floss because that's what I had. But I would like to try it again with. Like six, you know, a whole. Yeah, if it's, or a pearl cotton, because then it makes it more sturdy. But yeah, the it, when you use thin, thin thread, it's going to be tiny and harder to do. Yeah, you're going to get a thin cup, and I want a thick cup. Good morning, Kimberly. Good to see you. How are mom and dad in, what are they outside of, would you say, outside of Naples, Florida, on the West Coast, I think. The Gulf side, as we refer to it over here on the ocean side. I've only been to the Gulf once. It's gorgeous. My brother took me to Naples and we drove across what is nicknamed Allegat, Allegheny, Allegat, oh my God, not Allegheny, Ann. Alligator Alley. Oh God. That was the nickname of the, the road. Oh, that's cool, Kimberly. Thanks for listening to us while you were on your tractor. <laughs> oh, wow. We're out in the fields? Cool. Yeah, yesterday she was out in the fields. Okay. We were we were out there taking a tour on her tractor while she was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I think as I recall, this is your new tractor that has air conditioning and has a cab with air conditioning. Yeah, and that's a spoiled person's tractor. <laughs> as I recall, I could be wrong. Yeah, I think it is. Hi, Brenda. Oh, hi, Brenda. All right. So I got that on. Sorry for the glare. My new light is flickering, and I don't know. It's brand new. I don't know why it's flickering. I've had trouble with my camera focusing, and I've gone in and adjusted everything and turned off autofocus and Don't adjusted. Have time to send it back? No, I've had it too long. Oh. It was fine when I first got it.
I love it when my nails are just the right length to peel these the tape off. Uh, Oh, Paul drives the big one. I was on the regular man mower. <laughs> the man mower. All right, I'm going in. I'm very nervous. Because, you know, if you put, once you put it down, you're done. <laughs> you're done. There's no, there's no turning back. And I think I'm going to have to cut part of the book because, well, we'll see. Here we go. Just pick up the corner and go for it. And whether it's straight or not, there we go. Well, it's on for better, for better or for worse through sickness and health. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's see. Did you try something else in that outlet, Ann, just to make sure it's not faulty? Oh, oh, you mean the camera? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I got it on Amazon. It's the camera. It's the, what do you call it? It's the one that everyone uses. Logitech C9. Yeah, yeah. Logitech C. Actually, I'm using the C99. No, not the C99, the C922. And this is going to go on here. I bet you you're all getting excited now. Not. <laughs> I'm just getting apprehensive. And Lily, you just stay right where you are, little girl. Don't you even think about it. I was playing, again, I was playing WoW yesterday in the middle of a thunderstorm. And all of a sudden, Lily, I don't know how she got up here. She got up here, jumped up onto the backside. And the next thing I know, she's climbing through the, the, uh, the wire that is the computer wire that's plugged in. Between that and the uh, the uh, camera plug, there's two wires that come out of the back of the computer, and she's coming in between the two of them with her head. She was trying to get away from the thunderstorm. It could be something wrong oh, with the outlet. Do you mean like the plug? I did try unplugging it and plugging it back in because that was one of... One of the suggestions they had, they get they had like six or seven things you could try. I did do that. Be careful putting your back on. I just put mine on upside down. Hey, you two, stop it. I'll be right back. I'm so ha I'm sorry, but I love upside down. That's just what do you upside down and, and backwards? <laughs> Yeah, put it on upside down. So I took it off. You got it off? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So now I get to do it again. <laughs> well, you know I am the queen of upside down and backwards. Yeah, well, you taught me well. <laughs> it's a good, it's a, you know, yeah. The, the hardest thing about doing things upside down and backwards is just letting them be. Yeah, well, and let I that perfectionism let that perfectionism walk out the door and say, "Oh well." But it was too obvious. <laughs> if it wasn't obvious, no. Some <laughs> of mine are some of mine are very obvious. Oh my gosh, embarrassingly obvious, and I have left them probably more to being lazy than anything else. <laughs> Taking that attitude, oh well. <laughs> I have whole signatures in journals that are upside down. I oh, think no. I was going to unstitch it. No way. All behind the toilet during thunderstorms or fireworks. Yeah. She. This whole thing with her is recent. I think it's since she lost her, her housemate, made her brother from another mother. She's been fearful. Oh, 
Oh, that is sticky stuff. That is sticky. All right. Ah, I'm going in. The moment of truth. I'll make sure, I already made sure I'm right side up. Good morning, Kathy. Calico Kate. I have to stand up for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm standing up, folks. And she's up. I have to come in for the, the bird's eye view here. Uh, let's see. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, it is what it is. It's off a little bit. All right. Oh, deep breath, deep breath. You'd think this was on this community doing surgery here. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to open my book. And I'm going to try to get this. It's still, that's okay. And I'm going to put slats here and go, oh, look, here's Timmy people. Oh, look, here's some more Timmy people. Oh, look. That's it. There's three, one, two, three, four Timmy people. Oh, but I want to see them all at once. Oh, okay. Oh, look, now I can see all my Timmy people. I'm tired of looking at Timmy people. I'm going to turn it over. Oh, look, here are all my flowers. Aren't those pretty? Oh, look, here's some more of my flowers or ephemera. Oh, look, more. And then, oh, I want to go see my Timmy people. Where are my Timmy people? They're over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, dear. See, I made. Well, we'll just have to. There. There are my Timmy people. I have to fix something over here, folks. This is great. You can see how not to do it when you watch me. And sometimes it's important to see what not to do. And what I did was. Oh, Lordy. Now I. What did I do? See, I still have this big thingy, and I left a big space. So what else? Is it the uh, the, the the books are too close together? I tried to figure out. Uh, no, it's not the book. It's the uh, – it's your, one of your pages probably just, you know, moved a little bit when you put the tape on. Well, they're pretty far apart. Huh. Oh, well, I'm going to go on to the next part, folks. Just pretend that they are laying perfectly flat. And I got. Something's not. I'll be right back. You're going to blow your nose? All right. I'm going to take the dogs out. All righty. Now that's something's not right. Oh, well. I'm not going to worry about it, folks. Um, I think it's this that's too much. I got to cut part of this off. But I won't do that today. I will just, whoops. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is we're going to make little areas to put little slots in, to put your pictures in. And, um, but first I want to decorate this because you don't want to be looking at that, but you don't want it too busy. Um, hello, Melody and Sherry. Um, so, I mean, you could look at that, but I think we could do better than just looking at that. So I'm going to make an adjustment for that. Okay. And that's going to be. Another one of those Chinese books that they were throwing out was one of the Chinese exchange students was, oh, hi, Vanessa, was taking guitar lessons. So this is a Chinese guitar book. Now, it's music, and, and it's, it's in Chinese, but it's not really in Chinese because, you know, music is international right but these pages will look really nice as a background for those pages so
So I'll just do two, just for now, for time's sake. Oh, we got plenty. Look. They have like they they have like little X's instead of the little things that we have. Alrighty. What are we doing next? I'm gonna decorate those the, the things that the before we put those slots on. Because I don't want to be looking at this. So well. Or you can, but I'm just gonna. Like, put these down first. You need to have your ephemera handy, though, I think, so you can see how, where you need to put your... Yes. Where yeah. you need to put these things. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you do. I'm just going to... Let's see. I'm just going to cut a little of this. I don't think I have to cut too much off. I'm going to eyeball. Take my eyeballs out and take a look. Speaking of eyeballs, I got new glasses, but I have to take them back because they're not the they're no. not aligned. So when I look at the computer screen, everything is blurry. I should have told them that I spent many hours in front of a computer screen. And then maybe they would have measured it differently. Well, I'm just looking, just a little something to cover all that, that green up, you know, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Your ephemera will cover most of that up, won't it? Yeah, it will. Book pages is a great place to get use up book pages. Over two weeks to get used to them. Yeah, that's why I'm, I am not, I mean, I just got them last Friday. So I'm kind of being trying to be patient. And I'm really, what I'm really trying to not do is put my old glasses on because that's what I am tempted to do. I am so tempted to, you know, get out my old glasses and put them on. So I'm going to glue this down. And I'm going to use glue. And then I'll put some slots in and I'll get out my Timmy people so I can determine where I want my um, little bands. And they're like, you know, like they're not belly bands because they're, they're closed, uh, you know, on three sides. I'm just going to stick some of this down. I bought this Amazon and I didn't have the the regular. They only had school stuff. And they only had the little tubes. So I ended up buying a case of this. So I got 60 of these. I mean, there's something, it's nice. The purple thing is nice because you can see where you've been. For this particular tape, the purple uh, uh, evaporates quickly. Now she used. She had really neat. She had an old. She had an old uh, furniture catalog that she used for her background, which was really cool looking. Do this one too, just. I'll tell you, when you move things around and put things somewhere else and then you need it. <laughs> Isn't that the crafters? Oh, man. Lament? See, that's why I haven't it lined up anything. See, I know there's a reason why I haven't attempted that. I think about it. 
And I was hoping that this would inspire me. But all it's going to do is organize one baggie of Timmy people. And that's about it. I have a, a, a stamp book that put you can put stamps in. It's not two-sided, but it, it would be neat if you could figure out a way to make those slots transparent. I thought about that. But, and I couldn't really see that. Okay. All right, there we go. We'll have to have that. That's going to have to work for us. Okay. Now we're going to put slots in. We're not, we don't want to use something like that because it would be like camouflage and you wouldn't be able to, to see where it was. So I need some plain paper. And again, that can be decorated, but you don't want to decorate. That's where I would put washi tape because, you know, it wouldn't be so... It'd be nice to it just pieces of washi tape would be nice. And where is my paper? Well, I don't think I that's a little too bright. I'm sorry, folks. Oh, yeah. So are you done covering your backs already? I only did two. Oh, okay. All right. I haven't gotten much done. All right. Here we go. So this is, well, that wouldn't be bad. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Carol's right. You got to measure. So I'm going to stick this here and get out a Timmy person. See, here are my Timmy people. And you got big people and little people, right? So... So here's some, so you want to obviously, I mean, look at the size of this guy. He's like a giant. You want to figure out how much you want to see of him. And you got to figure out where he, where his feet stop. So his feet stop about here. So this is very, this is very precise measuring. Right here where my thumb is. And I'm going to put a little line here. Again. You could do a much more serious job, but I think he's he's one of the biggest dudes, so I think he's a good one to measure against. So, and then I want to go to here, to about here, and let's see. And my nose is running again. Oh lordy, Carol, you must have. <laughs> I took my allergy meds this morning. I took them at five o'clock, hoping they would kick in by nine. <laughs> I never have this problem. I'm sorry. Gosh, how can I? See, I'm doing the doing the serious. You know, you're not supposed to do this ever, but that's okay. We're among friends. Okay. I'm going to mute while I blow my nose. If not, they'll be not dripping down onto the... God, it's like...
All right, I'm done being snotty. <laughs> so this is going to go here. Yeah, that's a little wild, but what the heck. We'll go in here like so. Okay, we're going to go around three sides. Oh, I know what I want to do. Give me one second here. And you could actually, you know, decorate that if you wanted to. You could cut that with scissors, you know, and you could do, you know, little ziggy zaggy things to make it fancy. Let's see if I reach over here. I could do something like this. So you have like a little jiggy jaggy thing that you can't see, but you could do something like this. I mean, you could pick better better paper than I chose here. This is a little wild, but again, it's just a place to put your ephemera. It doesn't have to be a work of art. A little of this. I finally broke down and bought this, what is it called? Something glitter. Is it called glitter glue? Oh, okay. uh, yeah. I never bought it because I thought it had glitter in it, so, but it doesn't. So, we, yeah, we want his head there, so. So, we're going to go down about here. Okay. All right. So we can stick him in and let's find some of the other big folk. Stick him in. There you go. There you go. Ooh, it didn't. He's taller. I didn't realize he was that tall. Stick him in. And some of the bigger folks here. Ah. Married couple, stick them in. A lady and a little boy. But you get the idea, right? And you can get quite a few. So when you open it, you'll you'll see them all kind of laid out there in all their glory. You go, oh, there he is, and here's this little boy. Stick him in. And Maybe we get the ma this other married couple, and you don't want to layer them up too much. But, so, make another band. I stenciled. That's great. It's a mess. <laughs> My What's a mess? You're stenciling? No, it's not. <laughs> like, what's going on there? Well, most of your ephemera might, you know, cover it. Yeah, and I'm using uh, black, so it'll accent. So what a mess. And just do this again. Now I've got to dry, so I will mute. <laughs> Lily, I'm not feeding you. Get oh, sorry. 
gonna <coughs> now I'll, I'm gonna do another I'm not gonna do another wide band here and then I'll do narrower smaller bands over here to accommodate the little the wee folk so to speak so I'll just do another quick measure I mean you could oh please I was thinking I could put one down here, but I'm, I'm afraid to do that because I, I. Well, I guess I could, right? Yeah. It's true, right? I could really push it all the way up to the top, right? Uh, like so. And then put again and I could get a third one down here a skinny one for really little people I will try it what the heck what the heck nothing to lose at all Yeah, that background, Carol's background looks awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, I I feel. <laughs> Everyone's loving your stencil. Yeah, I got that in a Happy Mail years upon years ago. <laughs> so now. Are you using glue or are you using double-sided tape? I'm using glue. I'm using the glitter glue. The expensive stuff. But as someone pointed out, is it really more expensive? Because you use so little of it. Uh, it depends. <laughs> I know, I know. But you do use very little of it. I mean, a thin little tiny bead. Love it. Look, look at all of these people. They look so happy. And they're they've been I've been released. I am free. I'm out of that baggie. I can breathe again. Yay. <laughs> look, you can see their smiles on their faces. They are thrilled to be released from the baggie. I am no longer stuck in a bag. I can be seen and heard i am a person i am woman i roar or i sing or whatever that was i have to tell you folks i have to tell you that this is kind of fun just untangling these poor people <laughs> here. look how fun that is oh i'm loving this look look at this is this not fun I highly recommend it. Whoops. We don't want to hide this guy. Put him up here. Look, he's there. He's there. Now, if you really anal, I didn't say that, but I did. You could you could sort them by perfect size. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try doing a thin strip down here just to put the little people. You know, the little little, the littles. I mean, this little, this guy is little. He's the little. And uh, so let's do that. Put a little thin strip here for the little guy. For all the little guys, the short people out there. You can't use that. I used to say, I'm not short. My feet touch the ground. Yeah. I'm actually, let's see. No, I don't want to do that. Could we get, I, I don't know how greedy I want to get, because I could get another layer. Now well, let's try it. Yeah.
that you could do this, you know, instead of using a file folder, you could use scrapbook paper. Say you have some really ugly, ugly ass scrap paper. I'm vertically challenged, yes. And horizontally challenged, so. Third row could be for when you need to give a relative a timeout. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I love it. Yes, you go in a yeah, timeout for you. Yeah. Absolutely. Hi, Nashua. Oh, hi, Nashua. So lovely to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. I hope all is well or wellish. If it can't be well, can it be wellish? You know what? I think I actually can get two more. I might regret this decision, but really, there should be no regrets in art. That word should be not in our vocabulary. No regrets. And nothing's perfect. Nor should it be. Just saying. My Sunday homily. I thought the thing I read today. I, you know, I, I know that we have no grandfathers here, but I think you could still relate. Just about the whole, even the whole doll thing. It's kind of funny. I know Barbie's not, well, I guess Barbie's somewhat anatomically correct in the fact that she's got boobs, but. Let's see, bring that down a little bit. Let's see, how's that gonna work? Mm, might work. Get to see more of them. Or again, for the little people. All right, I'm going to go for it. I'm going for it. I'll just take a little bit off to get the little fancy edge here. Those scissors were my, my ex-husband. I just can't picture him using them. But he was a school teacher, and then... My youngest son is a school teacher, and his father gave him those scissors, and then my son gave me those scissors. So th those scissors have been from ex-husband to son and then to me. <laughs> Went through the family. They've gone through the family, yes. And they're, they're good ones. I mean, as far as those go, they're, they're good ones. They're Fiskers, but I bought some cheap ones. That, look, it even has lar on them in, in marker. And these are the bow tie paper edgers by Fisker. Fiskar? Fisker. Yeah, I haven't I have uh, an issue with their with their paper cutters though. They're they're just never they're not truly straight, you know. You line it up and I'm going to stick that there. I'm going to move her out of the way because I don't want to glue her little tootsies. I'll come this over a little bit this way. All right. And I think she's a little bit too big for this configuration. Well, no, actually not. But I'm going to look for these guys. These guys. The little ones. I mean, I like the way that they have. I Someone was trying to figure out how many sizes there are. I'm not sure. Small, medium, and and then I guess he makes he makes super small, like ephemera, really, really tiny ephemera, which. Uh, um,
and I, I have a pack of that, which I'll show you in a, in a second. I don't even know whether you can make anything small enough. Uh, but look how this, you know, these are the, I think this is, is as small as they go. Oh, wow. That's tiny. It and is. Or on tags and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You put them on tags or, yeah. Yeah. That's what I see mostly people do with them. They go on a tag. But you would never see these. But in an arrangement like this, you know, you can see them. They have been liberated. I mean, you get a ton. It's like probably one of the best crafting values out there. I don't now, know. This is more than one bag, though. I think that is a lot of people. Yeah, this is probably two bags, but it's still a lot of people. And you got the little dog, Petey. At least he reminds me of the little rascal's dog, Petey. And let's see. So these are medium. Is this needs a medium guy. So what's oh. everybody else working on while we're yes, thank you. Great. Let me let me let me zoom in on you too, Carol. We haven't checked in with you. Everyone <laughs> on the I'm making a mess. <laughs> oh, they can do this pretty well. Everyone likes to see a mess. Wait a minute, I want to go here and I want to drag you here. I'm <laughs> Said nothing. <laughs> I understand, Becky. <laughs> Becky, you're well. You are. You're working on getting better. There you go. And that's a lot of work. So I used uh, acrylic speedball gold and the Dr. P. H. Martin's Bombay Magenta India ink to do my background for with through my stencil. And now I've got golden. Magenta fingers, because I didn't put my gloves on. You're golden. And I'm just estimating because I will probably make my ephemera because I don't have bought an ephemera. <laughs> so I'm estimating and I will fit whatever I make into whatever slots I have. So, but I used black cardstock for my, because I don't have any of that fancy paper. Which is okay, because then, you know, it, the stuff will stand out against. The, yeah, the black works much better. I mean, I, I just grabbed this polka dot stuff, and I, I, I feel bad. I'm not, I should have been more prepared than I am, but I'm not, so... I appreciate you guys being here. And it, I will have a book, but I you know you can see how much stuff. Let's see. Well, oh, she, let's go big on yours so we drag yourself over there so you can, everybody can see all your little peoples in their little new homes. Yes. I'm free. I'm free. Free at last. Free at last. Yeah. I mean, you get a lot. I mean, you can get a lot. And those are a little bit too big. Safi is using her Zig Clean color markers to make a huge painty background that will be cut down for pages in the mini journal. It's from Joanne Sharp's new class. Nice. It's it's nice to, you know, do stuff, you know, sign up for a class and then do it. Oh, you're supposed to do them? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the that's the idea. I think you're supposed to do them. Yeah, they're not just for collecting, huh? <laughs> yes. All I can say is it's good that they're there forever, you know. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I've never had one that's not forever, but 
Well, it, you know, forever is for as long as these people are online. Well, but if it's a video that they've made, that doesn't go away when they go away. It doesn't. Unless it's deleted. Unless, you know, other people don't want to maintain. Right. So it's, you know, it's only there for as long as the people are there. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I just figured once you download it. Oh, if you download it, it's yours. Yes. But if you don't download them. They could, they have, you know, they could eventually disappear. Okay. Well, I meant if you downloaded them, you have them forever. Yes. Yes. Or for as long as your computer works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you don't lose everything. <laughs> you don't lose everything. That's a lot of people. Just on one page. And I can get some more little people in here. Too big. I've got to cut it off. So. so that's the people. And I think that I have enough people that could probably fill this page and this page and this page. And... <laughs> that's a lot of people <laughs> yeah maybe not i don't know well i i'll turn it over and it might be just the people book i have other people oh that i've cut out of magazines that i could use you know fancy cutted people fancy cutted is that a word cutted cutted right. a fancy cutted the uh, the people so I don't think fancy cut it is a word, but Gail says, wow, and you do have a lot of Timmy people. <laughs> I don't think I could fill. I, yeah. Uh, one side, one side is shorter than the other side. And that sh probably should have been the people side, but I don't have that many flowers, but I have a lot of pictures that I have cut out. Hi, Mary. Monkey, Mary. Hi, monkey, Mary. So I'm going to do this and this, and then I'll get out my my other ephemera, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when you start putting little flowers in. Um, maybe you know, maybe you have you've bought a whole bunch of butterflies, you know, butterfly stickers, and they're in a bag somewhere, or they're piled up on top of one or other, or you have a whole bunch of insects. You can have just one of you know, insects, or as, or as Carol said, like I have the insect stamps, you can stamp them out and then cut them out and put them, you know, to display your insect collection. Uh, obviously, you could put tags in there. Uh, again, you could use this whole method to, to store ATC cards. I mean, they would be a little sick, but there's really, there's a whole bunch of different things that you could store using this type of storage. Uh, method and then you can if you and, and again the nice feature here is that you can open it all up you know and see everything you have if you have enough room <laughs> I don't have enough room to open everything up and kind of crunched here I'm trying to find another arrangement for my my webcam and such let me go back to two of those. And I have not been real successful in doing that. There we go. The, the landscapey ones so we don't have to scrunch everything up into a little spot. Okay. There. Yeah. See, because do you need to see more of the desk? Yeah. I see. See more of the work area. Yeah. Around that I could put in there. Oh, you know, another thing that, you know, you're talking about stuff to put in. If you get the, you know, how people send you washi tape and it's wrapped around a card. Ooh, yeah. You could, you could slide that in. Yeah. Yeah, that would be 
you could just make washi tape cards, you know what I mean? Yeah. And stick the cards in. And that way you could see them, you know, again, the nice thing about this is the visibility of whatever you're putting in, you can see everything. And it's Pink not on top. Lori, sorry. Pink girl Lori says, great idea, Anne. You could also gusset your pockets and store even more. That's called work, Anne, or Lori. That's called work. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to gusset. That's, a, that's, that's another... Yeah. No, you could. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You could. Absolutely. I'm just using, trying to remember what I was using. I'm using glue sticks. You could. And this is almost two. This is almost one file folder too many because one file folder equals two. And I wasn't thinking when I grabbed four. I was thinking four, but in essence, four isn't four. Four is eight. So, again, not thinking. I know that's a novel thing. Yep, mm -hmm. you know, little cards do fit in there. Put them anywhere. You know, I have a, well, I know what I'm going to show also. I have a, a, a pad of, uh, Timmy tickets, and you could take the tear the tickets out of the pad and put the tickets on display, so you could see them all at once. Becky has her washi tape in jars. Yeah, well that's good because you can see them. But I'm I'm talking about when people send you samples and they wrap them around a card, and it's you know it's nice that you have a place to put them rather than always in a big, huge box, because now this will fold up and, you know. And the other thing you could use, um, if it does get kind of fat and you want to make it bigger, you could use like those belly bands or headbands or to put around it so it's stretchy, so it doesn't push everything. You know what I kind of envision, if you had a bunch of these, you could literally stick them on a book bookshelf as like a book. Yeah. And then you could have to, obviously, you'd have to label them, but they don't take up. Now, this is going to be a little bit fatter when I once we add all the, when you start filling it up. But it's still relatively thin-ish. Ish. Yeah, it is. It, it flattens down nicely. But once you put everything in, it, it fluffs up a little. It's going to fluff up. And since... Oh, man. All right, man. Stop being... Oh, man. I'm so lazy. <laughs> trying to cut this, right? And, you know... I do have this that's like right below me. How hard was that to get? Oh, that was really hard. And I had to reach down and get it. And I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. I want everything in arm's reach. <laughs> that's impossible. I've been trying to do that. I know. And this was an arm reach, so that's even the dumber. So I, mean, I, I literally said, look at that. I get that's angry at myself because I'm too lazy to get up and walk literally these five. These could also be for happy mail. Yeah. When you get happy mail and you want to just save some of the stuff. Like I got some of this stuff and it, it will fit right in here and you can go through and, you know, by putting a bunch of stuff in. I mean, yeah. Now the woman that I got the idea from, she got the idea from, and again, I will put her link in, La Cafe, what did I say, La Cafe Craft, and I don't know whether she's done anything currently, 
Again, this video that I came across is two years old. But she has put together, if you're familiar with Vectoria Designs, and they have those digi download uh, journaling kits, she has put a couple of those together uh, more, current, more recently, like in the last month or so, two months. She's got a, uh, obviously, a YouTube channel. And I don't know whether she's got a Facebook page or not. She's very, very French. And charming. And snarky. And she said, she thought at first... You know, maybe this was an original, and then she said, nah, it's not original. There's nothing original. I mean, everything is in this type of stuff. And she was inspired by a woman by the name of Al, A-L, John, J-O-H-N, Al John, who made maybe what she called the never-ending book. So it was a, when a book was an accordion type of thing that went on forever. And that's kind of gave her the idea to do this. And I went and looked for Al John. And sure enough, I found Al John making her ever ending book. Never, not ever ending, never ending book. So I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, I don't know how far you can, I don't think you could really take this much further than the number of pages that we have here and one side is not e they don't come out equally you do make this one one fold will have one more set of pages than the other set and I thought I had done something wrong which I do quite frequently but when I looked at her she had the same issue oh. Thank you, Becky. Love, Amy. Oh, is, oh, that's Al John? Okay. Oh, so you're familiar. Cool, Becky. Gosh, there's just so many people out there, you know. It's awesome, but you can't. And it's. Yes, exactly. And I, I was trying to think of a way. Uh, on how to make these clear, you know, but like I, I, I had seen somebody and I can't remember who she was, but you know, the, the uh, plastic envelopes you can buy the big folders. Yes. 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 She yes, yes. was cutting those up to make the clear. Yes. You could do that. Yeah. So if you have the clear or a plastic, a thick plastic, that you use even like um, in for binders, you can get the clear plastic separators or color separators, but they're still see-through. Yes. For yeah. the for the three ring binders, you could get that. Mm -hmm. Clear packaging, yep, everything is saved from your clear packaging, Becky. Yeah. Yeah, those are, those are all things that you could definitely use. Oh. Ugh. I gotta find get another sheet. Ooh. Hi, what JL. You, is that too busy? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> One nice thing is this is uh, with my backgrounds getting mostly covered up, so. Oh, that's not too bad. It's busy, but uh, like this is one of those pads that you know. Oh, Lily! Goodness gracious! This is when Tuesday morning still was the good Tuesday morning, not the evil Tuesday morning. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of you. I shouldn't complain. Oh, a lot of you have lost your Tuesday mornings altogether. I still have my Tuesday morning, except now it's pretty much 
all they're selling and napkins and pillows or that's what it seems like to me napkins and pillows all right i don't know i'm gonna have to get out my flowers so i'm not I'm not sure Oof, how deep i want those to be well i know they have to be that so let me do that make that cut and then i'll get out my flowers I don't have as many flowers as people. Oh, will you stop? Oh, Lord. And again, they're in the bottom of something. See, I was thinking, I've got this, and this is not a bad display, but if you took these out and stuck them, you could get at them a little bit easier. Oh, you could do, oh, you could, oh, ooh, you, you could do a Halloween-y page, or one just Halloween ephemera. You could do a, a, a you could do one that's uh um, a seasonal, a holiday one, you know, a book for holidays. So you could have, you know, oh, yeah, that's true. You could do a page of uh, Christmas stuff and fall Thanksgiving stuff. That would be fun. So I've got some Halloween stuff here instead of in these. At least on the back of these, you can kind of see what's in them. Oh, look at all this Halloween stuff I had. I didn't even know I had all this stuff. <laughs> See? This is Anne's going to be rooting through her piles. Uh, my black strips are just cardstock. Just trying to get at Walmart. You hear that? I'm throwing stuff on the floor. I do. <laughs> I can't do that or it will become chew toys. Good morning, Colleen. Yes, that would be a problem. Yes. See, I bought this. You got this family stuff. I don't know what, why I bought that. Or maybe I was going to give that to my faculty. All right. I'm getting to the flowers, folks. I am honest to gosh. See, the flowers are... I'll get rid of the Halloween stuff. But I like the idea of Halloween. You could do black paper for the Halloween, right? So. And then I have this type of stuff that I bought that I, I really don't like because it's got sparkle stuff on it. I'm not a sparkle type of person. If you've guessed, I don't know, maybe. Are you surprised that I tell you I'm not a sparkle type of person? I'm sure you're shocked by that revolution. <laughs> I don't usually do sparkles either. <laughs> See this? But I got a lot of this stuff too. I don't know. I'm going to go shopping at Ann's house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't. Okay. So here's the flower stuff. And unfortunately, oh, there's butterflies too. I don't know where they came from. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning. Good morning, Andrea. It's so nice to see you. So the flowers are pretty, these are pretty big. Oh, look, I found a little Petey. He was hiding out in the flowers. <laughs> he was sniffing the, sniffing the flowers. But I would love to get these flowers out of the bottom of this. It's like, it's like, what it, they're in is like what would be comparable to a clear, uh, a clear shoebox. They're laying in the bottom of that. So, oh look, I'm finding Timmy people buried in. Oh my goodness, look at all the Timmy people. They're not supposed to be in there. <laughs> they're hiding from their new home. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> there, looky, looky. Yeah, you definitely will once you get the other side done. It won't be uh, so one-sided to open. It will even itself out with fluff. 
Oh, look at all of this. I didn't know I had this. See? I bet you, you guys will probably, if you do this and you start looking at your stuff, you're going to go, oh, bye, Lori. Bye, Lori. And I got more Timmy people are hiding out in here, too. Wow. All right. I got all of the flowers and butterflies. It doesn't look so bad with all the stuff jammed in there. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Huh. Could do a nature. Yeah, oh, and I have this. Okay. All right. Oh, I know. Uh, okay. Get out of here. I'm sorry, Lily. I shouldn't be so mean to you, but. But. Wow. Wow. So, let's see. Now, I know he has small flowers, too. Are you, you want me to make you big, Carol? No, I'm good. We're fine this way. This is good. People can see pretty good. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. See, they're all bent. And they're all, you know, and they're not going to be bent. They're going to have to come. They're, they're going to, they're pretty big. And if you put them this way. Then you can't, so they almost have to go this way, I would think. Oops. All right, so I'm going to stick that there. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. <laughs> but why? <laughs> when I made my boo-boo, I had put the um, double-sided tape too close well, where it was supposed to be, but I put it on upside down. Mm -hmm. So now that area is really sticky. So I'm putting another layer of double-sided tape to fix my boo-boo. Yes, I have, I have a problem with I the same thing happened to me. And then I'm just going to uh, lay this down on it, on the edge, and cut it. Yes. Because I put it on upside down. And well, I have extra sticky stuff here that's in the way right here. And I and I had to just put paper over it right now just until I can figure out what to do. All right. So that's going to go. And I think that'll accommodate. Yeah. I think I'll stick that there. Right on the... Yeah, the top of the music notes right there. Let's just do this. Okay. Should go right there. Like so. There, like so ish. Let's see. And the flowers. And the flowers. There. Now I won't have that glue issue. <laughs> no. Probably should just paint along those edges or put some more cardstock along the edges. Makes it a nice outline. Yeah. Well, remedy, remedying mistakes are always sometimes a a pleasant surprise, or what do they call it? There's a what's what's the word for that? Isn't there an arting term that means pleasant surprise? I don't know. <laughs> I thought that there was some official phrase. A happy accident. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, so now I got a row of flowers. I could stick in some butterflies because 
I have butterflies, not that many. So that's going to be pretty. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Can we see a little bit of a flip through? We have 10 minutes left. Oh, I don't have much to flip through. Oh, well, you did all your Timmy pages, didn't you? Yes. Or are you doing them as you go? Oh, yeah, I just put all my strips in and said, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Serendipity? Is that the word you're looking for? No, happy accident. Happy accident. You had a happy accident. You had an accident, and then the the repair of the accident made you happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I had to put a black strip on. <laughs> Isn't that a happy accident? So now I just have this these two pages to do in the back. But that's pretty cool. Yeah. Let me let me make you big. You do a flip through, and then I'll do a flip through. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me make you big. So I make me big, and then I no, I go like this, and then I drag you over. Yep. And then ta da! Hey. <laughs> so I started out with just one of my own pictures that I painted and sealed and it's on watercolor paper so you can actually see when you open it up it's a complete picture and I just cut it in half and cut it down in size a little bit so that's my my covers and then you can flip through if you have like Anne has hers organized I just threw stuff in so you could see what it would look like and then you turn the page and that's that or you can say I want to see everything all at once and you hold it open and then you you're at the back page so then you can complete the back page and you'll have more stuff in the back but I didn't I didn't do this side but there we are. That's Thank mine. You. Awesome. Now, Thank you, Andrea. You love my wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Colleen. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. I'm afraid to find this in there, but that's not so I don't but you, have, you can take any of your pictures and create stuff with them. You know, you just don't have to just keep them as a picture. Just take them, cut them up, and use them. Yeah. Well, I I am going to. I don't have watercolor paintings, but I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep this cover. Are you going to decorate it? Yeah. I am. Whoops. Okay. All right. Your turn. Okay. I'm, I'm going to decorate this. I'm not going to, because this is pretty. I mean, but if you had a book that was like a book that had like flowers on, you know, a, any type of different book, but I will decorate this with something. I don't know what. So we started out with, it's already getting a little, I got, all right. So again, we, as you know, we opened the page, and uh, I just did one page, but I got a whole bunch of Timmy people in here, as you can see, and it's chock full. And then you, but you do have to be cognizant of when you lay down these strips as to, you know, what size your people are. You have to when you when you glue them down on the bottom, you have to be aware of whether they're really big people or little people. But I ended up getting one, two, three, four bands in here. And I, I can still fit some littler people down here. But you can see them all. They're all there. You can see all their little, fine, you know, all their little faces. And um, yeah, it's see, a lot better than being jammed in a bag. Yeah. But look how many, I mean, look how many more I have. Wow. <laughs> I still need another book. <laughs> well, I've got I've got all these pages to do, right? I got that page and 
Yeah, your book is bigger than mine. Yeah, my book is a little bit bigger, and it's not constructed correctly. But and then of course you get to the end, and then you turn it over, and all the flowers fall out. No, <laughs> and of course I started the flower page. I started working on the flowers, and I used music paper as my background. But again, anything goes, and. Uh, so that's basically the, whoops, mine's not folding. I don't know. My thing is all messed up, and I don't know why, because I left extra space in between them to compensate for that, but it, it's worse than the other book. But uh, And the other book I made over here, which I would decorate, and this is out of a Cheez-It box, uh, and this is not decorated, but again, it doesn't. And this would be really good for really little stuff. Like I have a bag of really tiny miniature ephemera that would go, uh, go in here. And the same principle. And uh, again, this is a Cheez-Its box. And so that was the project for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it something you might want to try maybe in the future uh, as you start to organize stuff and uh, so you can find yourself stuff so you can find yes you will find yourself buried in your ephemera <laughs> so, well i'm gonna you might as well anything else for the good of the the community carol no i think that's everything and i guess we will see you next week Next weekend, uh, we'll come up with some more goodies. And uh, um, I don't know what I'm doing on the weekend. So I think Ann and I are going to get together and uh, collab a little bit. <laughs> Miserate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and see what kind of trouble we can get into. And then when we find some trouble we can get into, we will share it with you folks. So you can all get in trouble too. Yes, because it's more the merrier. The more people that get in trouble with you, the less trouble you're in. I guess. I don't know whether that makes any sense or not. But, so. uh, thanks, everybody, for being here. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. And you all have a good week. And those of you who are not feeling well, I hope you feel better sooner than later. And yep. Becky, I'm so glad you're on the mend. Uh, I'm thinking of you and sending you strength and good vibes. So everybody take care. And I'll say so long. We'll leave a couple of minutes early. I don't think there's a law that we have no. to. You know, when you're done, you're done. And I'm done. No. But thank you. And thank you. Have a great day. All righty. Bye-bye.